What's up, Fly Squad? Today I'm gonna be taking you around Nairobi, Kenya to show you the top five best things to do in this beautiful African city. Leaving our hotel complex, walk down the streets of Nairobi. Beautiful weather out here today. It says about 80 degrees. Beautiful African day. The Ozone Bistro Lounge. We got the Ozone Grill. We got a traditional Kenyan breakfast. Pancakes and goats. Let's see how it is. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling that. After that delicious breakfast, Mom and I wanted to do a little shopping. So we went to check out some goods made by a local tribe at the Maasai Market. We left this one. What is it made out of? Hmm. Hey, it's like shells, right? Yeah, shells. Cool. Like these paintings too? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You do draw them. Rubber. Yeah, these are very... So much talent. Oh Mama's still shopping. <laughs> oh, look, <that's> <laughs> I know. Um, it's all right. Hello. Hi, how are you? No. no, no sandals for me. Thank you. Ah, ah. Hello. Hello. Ni maferai. Kukutana. Kukutana. Na webe. Na webe. Nice to meet you. What's up, bro? Hey, hey, when in Africa, you gotta do a safari. So I suggest booking a ride on a tour through Nairobi National Park. <laughs> Zebras all over the place out here, y'all. <laughs> Rhinos, rhinos. All right. <laughs> there you go. Look at you, look at I see you. But they, they messed it right now. Maybe they ate already. <laughs> Very nice artwork here at the Kenyan Tea Coffee Point. The Lovebirds Community Gift Shop here. It's in African taste. And now we at the Bamas of Kenya. About to check out traditional village life here in Nairobi. Bamas of Kenya. We out here, baby. <laughs> hey, what's up, little guy? Come on over. It's your chance. It's your chance, man. It's your chance. It's your chance. Watch out, though. Damn. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> 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 boy, <Fine. think> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yes, welcome. 
Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Santi. Karibu. 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 Welcome. Welcome. So, let me ask you this. Yes. So, I have some friends back where I come from, and yes. she told me, I think she's Indian, she told me Jambo. Jambo, yes. Jambo is also high. Okay. Jambo. Then, uh, All right. Welcome. Okay. Asante, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, we, we have to learn a little Jumbo. bit, a little bit at a time. Yes. A few words every day. Few words every day, yes. <laughs> Jumbo. Jumbo. <laughs> yeah. Asante. Oh, wow. I'm learning. Yeah, bit. you are learning. <laughs> slowly by slowly. Yes, yes. You are trying. Keep it trying. up. Yes. yes. Very nice instruments. Hello. Jumbo. Jumbo. It's very nice. The boys hut. The boys got a hut. Yeah. Granary. Second wife. The married son's hut. Married son's hut. So the <laughs> So everybody even after they get married, they still live in the same area. Yes, in the same area, yeah. Okay. This is their own family land. Family land. Okay. Where do you live now? Now we have uh, modern houses. But the other guy was telling me like, he take the first wife when you're 20. Yes. So is that the reason why she get the, the biggest house? Because she's the oldest wife? She's the oldest wife, yes. Got it. So each time they marry, each time you marry again, 20, 40, 60. Yes, yes. Do, do the wife stay the same age as you or? No, younger. Okay, so younger, yeah. when you're 20, you probably marry a 20 year old wife. Yes, yes. But when you're 40, 40 what, what age married, is the wife? Yeah, 20. Oh yeah? At 60, you also marry 20. Oh! So... <laughs> keeping them young, you're keeping them young as you get yes. older. So that is why you okay. find uh, in okay. a family... Okay, I see. That's why you find in a family, uh, the grandmother's at. There's no house for the grandfather. Because he already died long time ago. Oh. Because of old age. Wow. So maybe the grandmother was the youngest wife. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> Interesting. Long time ago, the life was very easy. Mm -hmm. There were no schools, no bills for electricity, nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The land was so big, a lot of animals for food. Right. Everybody could just eat. For, yes. It wasn't no charge. Yeah. Every, everybody, <laughs> yeah. You eat what you grow, right? Yeah, you eat what you eat grow. What you just, see, I like that. Yes, yes. I miss, <laughs> I, I never grew up in that, but I like yes. the idea. Yes, you, you know go. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nowadays, everything is uh, about money, mm -hmm. money, money. Yeah. You're right. See, and, and, and I think that's a good way of doing it because God put every, put these things for everybody. Yes, yes. So why should we have to pay? <laughs> Government. <laughs> things could be so simple, but yeah. we, we, we made it complicated. We made it complicated. <laughs> Barack Obama senior. This is Barack Obama's tribe right here. The Lou, that's how you say it? Okay. Let me see how they did it. Get the grandmother's hut, third wife's hut, granary, boy's hut. What's this right here? The cows stay right here so they keep their meat on tap, you know what I'm saying? They ain't got a hunt, they just keep them right there whenever they get home. You know what I'm saying? I got the granary right there. Wife's hut. Another granary. Husband's hut. He got the small house. He got to crawl up in there. What's up with that? That's a pretty nice big one right there. First wife's hut. And they all got their own granary. So it seems like when they get the grain together, they just put it in their own storage units and take from there the loop.
at the National Museum of Nairobi. About to go check out some history. It's all the different kinds of faces that they made. Okay, so the first group to come to Kenya were the Kushites. So the Kushites entered Kenya from the Horn of Africa and most of them settled in the eastern side of Kenya. So that's why we have tribes such as the Borana, Somali and Rendile. And when did they come in to Kenya? About 6,000 and 1,000 BC. Wow. Yeah. So the Rendile came about uh, when the Arabs came. Most of them intermarried with uh, the people we call the coastal Bantus. So those are some of the tribes we have in the coast. So when the Arabs came, they intermarried with them. So that's, that brought out that language called the Swahili language. So the Bantu tribe and the Arabs yeah. created the, the Swahili, Swahili language. language. Yeah. This one is the oldest of them all, called Ekembo Heseroini, and it was discovered in 1969 by Mary Leakey. Then uh, they did the dating and uh, found that it must have been 18 million years old. Mm. This one is the Black Star. It was discovered in 1985 by Alan Walker. Then um, this one was dated to be 2.5 million years old. Is uh, the Trukana boy. And Trukana boy is a famous skeleton because it was the first almost complete skeleton to be found. You can see the rest, only the skull was found. But this one was the top part of found. So this one was found by someone called Kamoya Kimeo in 1984. And, uh, they did the carbon dating and found that it must have been 1.6 million years old. 1.6 million years old. Yeah. First skeleton, first full skeleton yeah. ever found. Yeah. Ever found, period, or in Kenya? In Kenya. Okay. The, the first to be found in Africa was Lucy. Lucy. And yeah. where was that? In Ethiopia. This one is the youngest of them all, called Parantopas Bursi. This one was discovered by someone called Richard Leakey in 1969. Then it was better to be 1.7 years old. You don't believe? Yeah, I don't believe. I came from I came from God. I came from God. I came from him. I didn't come from him. He was formed into a man. Yeah. You? <laughs> so, let me ask you, is this, Two Rivers Mall. I, I, I met, a, here I met we go. a lady on the plane coming here and lives here. She said it's a bougie mall. Bougie! <laughs> yeah, the biggest in, huh? in Central Africa. The biggest mall. The biggest. Hello, hello. You have to put everything through here? Made it through security. We playing. About to head up to the mall, baby. Let's roll. Going up the escalator. Oh, it's, oh, it's not working. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we can. Hey, we ain't bougie. We can do it, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, this one is good. This one is good right here. <laughs> you know how it is sometimes. There's a lot of stairs. A lot of stairs. The theme park is this way. Let's check that out. Here at the Two Rivers Mall in Nairobi, Kenya. Very modern. Got a theme park, food court, go-karts, among other activities. All kinds of good quality goods. That she hand makes these. She hand makes these. Handbags, great quality, very exquisite. You got skills. We got pet stores, what you need? They got dark clothes too, over here in Africa. Yeah. You got the uh, antlers for the Christmas. Yeah. See, they ain't know. They didn't even know. They didn't even know. They, they got clothes for dogs here in Africa. 
everywhere you go, dogs got clothes these days. We got bikes over here. Take the kids out for a day at the park. They got Hummers over here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they got Jeeps for your kids. They got, yeah, nice stuff. Let's get it, man. Let's go look at it though before we eat. Okay. You got virtual reality, tactical sports, virtual reality, running it over here in Kings. All kind of cool things. At Two Rivers Mall, Nairobi, Kenya. So here we are at the amusement park here at Two Rivers Mall. They also have a water park right in front of the Ferris wheel. They also have rides for the kids. It's like a mini amusement park here. And this is where it goes down, baby. Main attraction. Bounce house is here, slide, more rides over here, drop zone, as you can see, lots of uh, festivities going on. There you have it ladies and gentlemen, Funscapes here at Two Rivers Mall. Nairobi, Kenya. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And until next time. Hey.